obesity and diabetes is a, is a you know, huge public health problem both in the U.S. and worldwide. And um, a lot of therapies have been tried and, and not quite shown to be successful. Um, Acyl ghrelin has been known about for 10 or 12 years, but it's only been in the last couple of years that the enzyme that, that uh, adds the acyl group, the fatty acid group, to the ghrelin hormone has been molecularly identified. And this aided our effort to try to design inhibitors uh, that could specifically block this enzyme. So um, our main aspect of what we did was to uh, design compounds that we felt would block this enzyme and have the ability then to prevent weight gain and to improve blood sugar. So enzymes are nature's catalysts and the way they typically work uh, when they use two substrates or the way they often work, they typically bring these two things together in the active site of the enzyme to allow the chemistry to occur. So the, the enzyme is es essentially serving as a template to, to bring these two pieces together uh, in, in close proximity. So the conceptual leap then is instead of having uh, the enzyme bring these two pieces together, we can m design a compound that chemically links them together first. That kind of compound can then, in principle, snugly fit into the active site of the enzyme and prevent the normal chemistry uh, from occurring. I don't want anyone to get the idea that a new diabetes or obesity drug is right around the corner. I do want to leave the idea that that this is an important step uh, and that it's studies like this that can ultimately lead to those kinds of, of therapies.